Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back and welcome to another Tag Tuesday. Today I am doing an original tag created by my friend Sandy at Miss Reads A Lot. Sandy is celebrating the completion of the first 100 books from the 1001 books you must read before you die list. So this is just a great milestone for Sandy and I wanted to celebrate with her and thank her for tagging me in her original video. I will be sure to leave links to Sandy's channel and the original tag video below in the description box. So let's get started with the first prompt. 901 books. Name as quickly as possible the last nine that books that you read. So this should be from memory, no peeking. Okay. Uh, well, I know the books that I've finished so far in November. Um, for nonfiction, November, I've read Ice Walker by James Raffin, 12 Years a Slave by Solomon Northup. I'm finishing one right now, so I guess that really doesn't count yet. Um, I've read Isn't It Romantic by Lissa K. Adams. I finished Into the Wilderness by Sarah Donati and I just finished a minor chorus, so that's only five. Okay, so let's see, if I go back to October, um, I was reading the shortlist for the Giller Prize, so I read Lesser Known Monsters of the 21st Century by Kim Fu. The winner, which is The Sleeping Car uh, Porter by Suzette Mayer. And If an Egyptian Cannot Speak English by Noor Naga. And we Measure the Earth with Our Bodies by Saring Yangsam Lama. So I'm not sure if that's in the correct order or if it really is the last nine, but those are nine that I remember off the top of my head. Um, okay, the second prompt. Oh, okay, the second prompt is 901 Memories, uh, where the actual last nine books that you actually read. So how close were you? Okay, so give me a minute. I'm going to go and bring up Goodreads and I will see how I did here. Okay, so going backward from the books that I just finished, which was a minor chorus by Billy Ray Belcourt. Um, then Isn't It Romantic by um, Lissa K. Adams, then 12, 12 Years a Slave, then Into the Wilderness, then Ice Walker. So I pretty much got those, um, which I only know because I read them this month. Oh, of course, there's Flowers by Algernon by Daniel Keyes, which I loved. Then two of the Giller Prize shortlist books. So I got those. Um, it was We Measure the Earth with Our Bodies by Sarah Yang Sun Lama and The Sleeping Car Porter by Suzette Mayer. So those were those two. Um, but the ninth book, uh, which I didn't think of, was Returning to Yakun River by uh, Sarah Florence Davidson. And this is a picture book that I read. So that, not too bad. Like I missed uh, two and added in two. Um, so that's not too bad. Okay, so the next prompt is 901 favorites. Uh, which out of the nine, which one is your favorite? Um, I enjoyed pretty much all of these, but the only one that I gave five stars to was Flowers for Algernon. So I would have to go with that one for sure. And then 901 pictures. Uh, you're supposed to choose the ninth non-bookish picture on your camera roll. So I have to look that up um, after I'm done filming because I use my phone to film. So I will put a picture of that somewhere uh, when I'm doing the editing. Uh, it will probably be a dog or food, something like that, maybe a sunset. Um, $901, the last book you purchased. So the last book that I purchased for myself was The Winners by Frederick Backman, but the actual last book that I purchased, um, they were a birthday gift for my aunt and I got her the second and third books in the Seven Sisters series by Lucinda Riley. Um, the second book is The Storm Sister and the third book is The Pearl Sister or vice versa, I can't remember. Um, she really enjoyed the first book in that series so hopefully she will continue to uh, enjoy these two as well. 
Next is 901 miles. What is the furthest you have tra ever traveled from home? And have you ever read a book um, from that location? So I'm thinking Australia would be the furthest I've ever traveled from home. I went there in 2008, and I know I've read books by Australi Australian writers. Uh, the book that comes to mind off the top of my head that's set in Australia is The Thorn Birds by Colleen McCullough. Um, that's an epic saga, it's an epic read. Um, but I've read Marcus Zusak, author of the book Thief, uh, Graham Simpson, I think it is, who wrote the uh, Rosie Project series. Um, does that take place in Australia? It might. I remember them going to New York in that first book, uh, so I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, um, I've read Geraldine Brooks, who I think is Australian, and Leanne Moriarty. I know uh, she's Australian, and I've read Nine Perfect Strangers by her. Okay, 901 facts. Do you read nonfiction? What is one of your favorite nonfiction reads this year? Uh, so yes, I do read nonfiction. I'm hoping to get a few more in, especially this month for nonfiction November. Um, but I really enjoyed Red Comet this year by Heather Clark, uh, which is all about Sylvia Plath. And I also read several books actually about Anne Frank this year, uh, including a reread of her diary. But I enjoyed Remembering Anne Frank by Meep Gies and The Betrayal of Anne Frank by Rosemary Sullivan. 901 subscribers. It says, thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate all of your support over the last year and a half as I work my way through the books um, on the 1001 book countdown. My question to the subscribers is, what is one of your favorite books that you have read this year? Please leave a comment with your favorite. So I love when tags and videos include subscribers uh, without channels. So thanks to Sandy for doing this. And I echo Sandy's words. I really appreciate all of my subscribers and enjoy interacting with all of you and getting to know you. So if you are a subscriber without a channel, please leave your favorite books uh, in the comments below or any recommendations that you think I would like. Um, I will definitely be checking those comments out. And then the final prompt is 901 friends. Tag some friends. So I'm going to tag a few people. I'm going to tag Elizabeth from Bookwins and uh, Books. Uh, Camilla at Hasty Books, and I think I'm also going to tag Greg from another Bibliophile Reads. I don't think I've tagged him in a while. Um, if you are up to doing this tag, I would love to see your answers or hear your answers, um, but again, no pressure. If I didn't tag you and you're thinking, that's a really cool tag, you know, I want to give it a try, then please do consider yourself tagged and let me know so that I can make sure that I watch it. Uh, thanks again to Sandy for creating this tag, and congrats again on your 100 in book completion. Thanks to everyone for watching. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget to make every day an adventure. Mm -hmm.